Recording in progress. What's up, guys? It's Josh with Market Movers Academy, and today I'm going to be explaining what went wrong when I was trading US 30 this morning. Um, normally, I uh, every morning when I wake up, I look at the news to see, you know, what direction the market's going to go in. And today we had a lot of high impact news, the GDP growth rate, continuing jobless claims, initial jobless claims, and the jobless claims four week average. So uh, let me go ahead and give you a quick rundown of how I interpret this news. So right here um, for the GDP growth rate uh, last month, it was at minus 1.6%. And this month we were expecting 0.5% but we got 0.9%, which was worse than expected. So it looks kind of bad on the US dollar, right? And then the continuing jobless claims, um, 1384, we were expecting uh, 1380 and we got 1359. So it's lower than expected. It looks good on the US dollar. The next um, news release was the initial jobless claims. Last month, we had 261,000. This month, we were expecting 253,000, but we got 256. So that looks really bad on the US dollar. Now the sell um, or the bearish news events are outweighing the bullish. And finally, the jobless claims for the four week average expecting or I'm sorry, last month was 243K. Uh, we were expecting the same, but we got 249. So still looks horrible on the US dollar. So that was my bias for the morning. Now, if we translate that to the chart on US 30, we can see that during the London session, price was just consolidating right here. So if we look at price action, we'll identify the bottom of the consolidation and we'll target or identify the top. So now that we're ranging between these two points, uh, we're expecting a bearish move because of the news. We can, you know, expect to manipulate both sides and then the move happens, you know what I mean? So like right here, there's a double bottom. Uh, we should expect a push down to hit stop losses. Up here, there's a double top. We should then target those stop losses and then the giant move happens. But that's not at all what happened today. So whenever we try to look for stop hunts, we just kind of have to predict where those orders are. Uh, according to my strategy, I was looking at the previous high right here. And there's just this one massive wick on the top. Nothing on the 30 minute, nothing on the 15 minute. You would have had to go all the way down to the five minute time frame in order to find this uh, supply zone. So right here, we have an order block. We can go ahead and highlight that. And then let's go back to the 30 minute time frame. Yeah, so I was expecting, you know, a fair manipulation on both sides. And then we were going to fall all the way down to, you know, demand down here. So let's see what happens. Yeah, see, as you can see, we rated the stop losses of the buyers and then... You know, we hit their stop losses and now we're giving them what they want. So we're attracting buyers and we're approaching this um, supply zone, right? And that would have been fine. You know, we're already creating that bullish um, bias, I guess. And the news was calling out for a sell. So this would have been the perfect entry to sell from up here. Now that price is going back, you know, see what happened. It touched supply and then it started falling immediately. That would have been fine and everything, um, but I actually missed my entry up here, which kind of sucked. That was my fault. But if you look closely, I attempted to sell again. It was kind of late. I just figured, you know, the news was going to send the market plummeting. So previous support, you know, that initial zone where the buyers got liquidated, their stop losses were hit, the banks invested down here for the buy. 
So now that we broke below that level, we should be using that as our new form of supply. And I got a sniper entry in on it up here, but um, yeah, I had to secure partials down here because we kept breaking above, you know, the support levels. So we were highlighting, or I highlighted this zone, we broke above it, I secured partials on the cell, and then, yeah, price just kind of took off all the way back up from there. This is what didn't make sense to me, though, because the consolidation, it got manipulated to the downside, and then it got manipulated on the upside. So now that all of that like liquidity is freed up and out of the way, the banks had all this uh, freed up room to sell, but instead that was just another trap. So I would have been having to pay attention to the four hour time frame all the way back here. This first pullback right here, like I talked about in the previous videos, that would have been the sniper entry, but I wasn't expecting, you know, the manipulation pattern to get manipulated. It screwed me this morning, but um, yeah, this ended up being a really, really good trade. I was just not in the mindset for it this morning. My strategy called it pretty much perfectly, but I wasn't thinking clearly enough. So, yeah, that pretty much happened with US-30. Um, I didn't take a loss this morning. It was more of a kind of a break-even. I secured some profits, but it wasn't enough for a good day. <laughs> Taking a look at gold, gold has been consolidating for the past one, two, three, four, five, six hours. So the entire morning, um, London session was really good. There was a good buy, but for New York, there hasn't really been much to go off of. So I've just been staying away from it. Haven't really been trading any Forex pairs either. Um, I got kind of discouraged with US 30 this morning. So I've just been kind of analyzing and spectating. Moving on from this point though, if we look at the daily time frame. We're approaching another really big supply zone. So depending on what price does here, we can either see price move all the way back down and then skyrocket above into new highs, or we can get a rejection from here being that this is a big supply zone. We just have to wait and see what the market movers want to do. Yeah, but other than that, if um, you guys want to see what I was talking about, go check the link to my Discord. Everything should be posted in there, and I'm going to be posting a link to this video too. So if you want more tips and tricks or video analyses, just like, comment, or subscribe. And don't forget to join the Discord because I will be sending more signals. Peace.